clamp unboxing video. It's been a while since I bought clamps on eBay. And as the saying goes, you can never have too many clamps. And I maxed out. These clamps were hardly ever used. They still got the uh, price tags on them. Oh, it's like almost a brand new clamp. Thanks, Bob Howard. He's got his name all over them. Oh, so I got a matching pair. Thought this was a good deal. You don't really uh, see this size too often. It's a little bit bigger than the uh, size I have. But these are Bessies. I like these clamps. They've got good threads. Needs a little bit of oil. So this is the uh, five and a half by 12 size. It's one of my most used clamps in the shop. It's just a very handy size for clamping stuff to the workbench. And uh, I find it's just one of the clamps I reach for the most and uh, gets a lot of use. So this is the next size up for larger jobs. And it's the uh, 16 by 7, so it's got a 7 inch deep throat and 16 inches length capacity. So, very happy to have this. And, uh, I got these from the same seller, so I combined a, a couple different listings. This is a, a different kind of clamp, Gross Stable from Germany. Uh, I've used this brand before. And, uh, also very good. Seen some use, but these are very good clamps. A little bit of wear play in the threads, but you know, I, I like this brand. It's very similar to the Bessie. It almost looks like it has the, the same kind of castings. This is a Bessie very similar. The Bessie is actually a little bit heavier. So this is another one of the clamps that I have, the 5.5 by 12 Bessie. Pretty dry there, but it looks like this one's been barely used as well, even though it's been repainted. So I now have three of these, and two of the larger size. And this is a uh, China clamp, no brand, it says China on it, but it's actually a pretty solid clamp. You usually see the cheap threads on Chinese clamps, but this one's actually, got, looks like it's got pretty decent threads. The handle's pretty big. I don't know. Not a bad clamp for a no brand. Well, those are the clamps I got for my collection. So, all right. So I <coughs> I paid uh, seventy three ninety one for the two large Bessies. So uh, you know, roughly. $36 each, which I think is would, would still be below the new cost of buying those new. But they are new clamps, and uh, you know they're hard to find. I'll have to look up the new cost and see what they are to see if I actually 
got a deal on those, but I, that was kind of an impulse buy. And then I combined the shipping with these other clamps. I made an offer of $40 and then four extra dollars for combined shipping. So, you know, this is roughly, you know, $15 per clamp that I paid for, for these. Uh, so that's at least half price. Um, I think these clamps are like 50 bucks new. I have to check that out. Um, let's just do that right now. Let's see what these clamps cost. So I just saw these were actually on sale at grizzly.com for 39 bucks each plus shipping. So <laughs> I really actually didn't save that much money buying the used clamps on eBay, but they are almost new clamps, so Clamps smell like aftershave. It's Bob Howard's aftershave on the clamp. Oh, I don't like that. This is the last time I'm going to buy used clamps. I'm sensitive to smell, and all these clamps are. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to have to. Uh, I have to detox my clamps. <laughs> Bob's left his scent. Okay, so this is clamp unboxing video part two. A clamp unboxing double feature. So I got some clamps from Grizzly and we're going to compare the results. Got some other stuff too. So I made a relatively large purchase from Grizzly, spent almost uh, 500 bucks, but I really needed these deep reach clamps and I gave up trying to find used clamps on eBay for the price and the hassle and the risk. It's really not worth it. I have quite a collection of used antique clamps. Um, I haven't put them away yet, but well, it's really hard to find these big clamps. And these are made by Hargrave, these big C clamps. But for the risk and the price of shipping everything, and I, I got these last clamps. They're good clamps, uh, paid almost the same price as new, but they smell. They smell like Bob's odor. And I don't know Bob, you know? So it's like, you know, it's all covered with his aftershave. Every time I pick up these clamps, I, I, I get it on my hands, and I'm just like, I don't know. I just didn't have enough deep reach clamps, so I just went ahead and bought 10 of these. I got some glue brushes. I got tired of trying to find my glue brushes, so I got a good set from Grizzly. They have a couple different sizes, larger sized. I've never actually seen these before, but that's... Uh, that's handy. That was uh, twelve fifty for that. And I got this sanding machine. It's a little detail belt sander. Um, and I'm going to use this for cleaning up the solder joints. I use my belt sander and a, a rotary tool with a little tiny 
cutter bit on it. It just it, it took a long time, and I think this would be the best tool for the for the job to get into those tight spaces and just clean up some of that extra solder. So that costs um, you know fifty six dollars plus I got some extra belts, but it got good reviews on the Grizzly site, so I, you know. I'm just going to try it out. Not really into buying the cheap tools, but this is a, an occasional use uh, operation, and uh, it just kind of looks fun. That's pretty cool. Variable speed. <laughs> 